Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today I just wanted to go over a cool GIMP plugin I found for making texture atlases or sprite sheets. So basically what this is, is it will get a bunch of images together and it will put them all together into one image so you can reference all your textures from one image. So this is very useful, especially for optimizing your game as it will reduce loading times, uh, make everything process a lot faster and is something that lots of different mobile games use uh, just because it optimizes it so well. On top of that it will also save you adding lots of texture slots as you only have to have one texture to go back and forwards to and yeah overall it will save you quite a bit of hassle as well because everything's in the same texture. Now the plugin here I had a bit of a problem trying to install in GIMP however I found that just by itself it works completely fine. So over here on my desktop I have a folder I'm going to open that up that's where I have exported out the uh, sprite sheet packer basically just double click on this I'll click run and then it will pop up with the uh, application. So basically in here, um, very very straightforward, we have the image padding which is how many pixels between each image as it puts them together. Uh, I recommend 4 um, as Blender tends to blur the pixels together a little bit especially when you're putting it into the game engine so uh, 4 pixels is good for me. Maximum sheet size, you probably don't want to go past 2048 if you can. The higher you go, the more it will affect your performance, but obviously the more images you'll be able to fit in. There's a whole bunch of options down here as well if you want to use those. For example, square output if you want it to be a square instead of a rectangle. Uh, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So the next important one is adding the images obviously. Six different images. Now what I'm going to do is choose the image file. So let's just say desktop and call it example and we'll save and then under here the map file it's basically it just uh, generates a text document telling you how it's put it together so just where which image goes where and the coordinates of it and stuff but apart from that there should be about it so then we can click build sprite sheet and then it'll come up with build complete and then you'll notice over here on the desktop in the background we have our image. Now there can be some problems that you can run into for example if I change this to 1024 by say 512 that obviously is not enough pixels uh, to fit all of these images in so now if I click build sprite sheet it will pop up with error packing images because there weren't enough pixels in the first place to put all of these in so watch out for that if you do find yourself with not enough pixels you will obviously have to turn it up or you can just say uh, remove a selected item until there are enough to fit alright so yeah that is about it what you have to watch out for as well though is once you add your images um, well say just go to documents and add just say these ones here. Now once you do make your new texture here you'll notice that it is called example however over here it's still called example as well so if you remove everything and then you add more images in and then you want to again build another sprite sheet then um, it will actually overwrite this file so you have to be careful with that so once you've finished making one file make sure you click this and then rename it to something else just in case so anyway hope you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to leave a like or comment down below I'll be sure to read through all of those uh, if you like these type of videos make sure you subscribe to stay updated but apart from that that'll be it for this video so hope you enjoyed it have an awesome week and I'll see you guys in the next video